For those of you that are considering the Baby Launch C Reader 2.0 Elite, this video will highlight, showcase all the menus in very high detail. I've also am quite familiar with the Bigger Brother X4 Free One Pro Elite, but you will see that many of the capabilities are copy and paste, only that the screen is much smaller and you are restricted only to certain brands. So without too much introduction, this unit is specific for the BMW Mini and Rolls Royce and we will take a look at the menu. When you will be connecting this unit to the vehicle, you will also have on the corner the voltage of your battery. Make sure that you're not going too much under the 12 volt area. One of the advices that I would give to all users Make sure you have paired your diagnostic unit with a hotspot on your phone for those moments when you need to do some diagnostics and the tool needs an update or wants to connect to the internet. Another key thing that you would want to do is go in setting and deactivate automatic detection on connection. Okay, advices and tips later in the video. This is the main screen. These units will be connected with a wire. They will be charging from the vehicle when they are connected to the OBD2 port. The diagnose menu here is where we will be seeing our BMW vehicles and a history if you want to see what vehicles you have scanned previously. So this was our diagnostic menu auto detect it pulls the VIN number from your vehicle and after that does the other settings what I'm usually using I'm selecting the brand and after that I'm able to do the diagnostics next menu to consider OBD2 as a generic way of connecting to, to the vehicle if we try to pull from the top we see that we don't have any possibility of doing anything and also from the bottom we don't have anything available over there next menu upgrade the nice thing the software is so streamlined that it is giving you access only for the diagnostic part you will not have access to the android side of things and everything is optimized for ease of use upgrading is a case of just tapping that I'm going to give you an example. Right now, I'm going to enable the mobile hotspot on my phone. And let's see it one more time. Having that connection already set between the phone and this unit will save you the hassle when you need to update something from time to time. These units will do some strange errors or you might have a unit that gives you a strange error. If you have this connection set, you're able to easily reinstall the software. Here is an interesting bit. So whenever you're hitting update, it will show you the current version and the new version. But sometimes even if you have, or you will have access to download again, the same version that you already have, because on the left, I'm able to see the, the version that I already have and the one that is available. If I click on this one, for example, and update, it will download it. I've also took the decision of uninstalling the demo because it's taking up space and I don't really use it. But it's good because we're going to highlight the way that we can uninstall that one. This is the example of removing the demo. So hold and click on that one and we are able to delete it and save a little bit on the space on the update side of things you will see that at certain points you will be able to or you will have the option of manually installing some of the stuff interesting i don't really know for sure what's the purpose of this it might be due to the obd2 generic capability if we go in reset underline div, we're able to see that this unit, it's also downloading software for Mercedes-Benz, software for Kia, for Maserati, for Mazda, SGM, 
Toyota and Volvo and other software that you have over there. It, those options might have to do with the OBD2 generic way of using the software. The mall, I would say that is not really relevant to this unit because it is exactly the same mall that I'm getting on this bigger unit. And for sure, the software that works on this big one will not work on this little small one. Also, if you read the fine print, you will see that launch or the seller of launch in this small version is saying that they're not responsible for any purchase that you do in the shop and the fact that your purchase might not be compatible with your unit. We have reached the setting menu. Also keep in mind that these things on the bottom are keys or are buttons. So this is my back button, this will be my home and this is my setting tab. Let's say with back and home. We go to settings either from that one or from this one you select metric or imperial automatic detection on connect that is the one that i deactivated because i do not want it to auto vin the vehicle whenever it's doing the auto vin that is when i've noticed that all sorts of strange errors are happening you can then select the sleep interval the brightness sound when you're touching the screen maybe you want to be more silent network this is the wi-fi connection that i've set up with my phone time zones languages let's see we have english something korean chinese spanish french german italian something maybe russian portuguese some other things and polish workshop information here you can place some of your names to have them on the diagnostic report recovery menu cleanup menu screen capture if you enable this one you'll be able to do print screens you are not able to actually do a video recording deactivate that one because it's making the screen quite busy in data this is where we have diagnostic records should we have recorded some data logging diagnostic reports are where your diagnostic health checks will be saved if you save them so i've noticed that if i'm not uh, saving them to the cloud or i'm not able to send them via email this is where i'm gonna have them saved this is an example with a g30 the modules that it has been able to read about that vehicle if it has something that needs to be expanded you click on the arrow and it gives you more context regarding that same story with let's say this one the old x5 that i scanned for older vehicles the level of detail is not as high but i think that this is due to the way that the software of the vehicle works i've done the same scan with bmw ista and also ISTA wasn't giving too much detail so let's give the benefit to the doubt of the doubt to this unit DTC library self-explanatory DLC let's see oh it tells you where the position of the OBD sensor might be feedback you are giving sending to the guys at launch your last 20 scans to troubleshoot some issues images when you use this uh, screen recording that is where the things are going firmware fix this one might help you if you're having problems with it my phone is the hotspot so now it will be trying to I'm actually performing an update quite interesting the guys from launch are actually spending the time to perfect their software and it's interesting that in their description the software and the tool can work on vehicles from 1996 all the way to 2024 this is something that on low cost tools is quite hard to find so going with launch as a supplier might be a good decision for many of you let's back out of this user manual all the legal spiel and some 
other documents that launch might be giving you. Let's go on the about tab, device name, doesn't expand, serial number, MAC address, available space out of that total resolution. Here is where we have some interesting information about the custom user interface that these guys are using. Nothing that I'm able to click. This one, detection of software, let's see what is able to upload. System update, let's see if it's able to find something. These functions might be some of the things that you would want if you're having problems with it. So versions, we have seen that one. Disclaimer, quite self-explanatory. Policy, service agreement, again, the legal spiel. This was the menu of your launch. As another interesting caveat, for those of you that like Easter eggs and interesting things, I'm gonna share with you a secret that I found regarding this unit. So if you ever want to perform some advanced hacking or some crazy stuff with this unit, you will find a SD card slot in that area that might be useful. I tried to insert, I tried to insert a card, but it wasn't reading it. So for those of you that are Android geniuses, let me know if we we're able to do any interesting things using that port maybe we're able to unlock some of the features now if you enjoyed this video you might also want to see the review of this tool or maybe the bigger brother the x431 thank you for watching and see you in the next one